hello, come hello, down, come down. Hello, hello. Yeah. Well, calm down, right? Well, right. first you're saying I don't speak very loud into the mic. Now you're now, now you do know where the mic um, is. Yeah, that's yes, true. Yes, I do know where the mic is. Yeah. The show, I, get, the show um, keeps getting better. I want to stress that Will Pollard, who just discovered, is a bit unusual. Um, but we're not going to go into why because I think it would embarrass him. But anyway, we're we're in the process of talking about this wonderful gadget show, 2016. Yes, because we're going to be ready. Yeah. We're going to know where all the key stands are. <laughs> what we want to know. I want to see that um, woman from um, for who we saw last year. The the f- c- c- photographer lady. Possibly yes. yes. She might not be there, John. Well, I hope she is. Hello, photographer lady. If you're there. Please, yeah. Be well, we'll investigate that because because um, she was actually the only lady there with a with a phone, a mobile phone, which was also a camera. I yeah. thought she was the only one that made sense. Well, she was. Yeah, she made a lot of sense, but she didn't really answer your question about why you didn't really want it as a phone because it was too bulky because of the lens. Well, they're not. Uh, to be to, with all due respect, Will, they're not really going to answer that, are they? Because they want you to buy their product regardless of whether it will fit in your pocket or not. That's true. Yes, it is. That is true. Well, That's why they're not really going to answer it. No. I much rather prefer a phone that actually fits in your pocket. What is the point of having a phone that's got such a big camera lens on it? I don't know. But still, I cannot uh, put the phone down that much because it was a very good phone and there are other phones available. Yes. So, I, all I, I can't remember her name, but it was a Panasonic phone. Just for information, we'll mention Panasonic. Panasonic. Ah, but there are other companies available. There are other companies available. And also, they seem to be very interested in batteries. Very interested in batteries. But are you interested in batteries, me and son? Well, I think batteries could be quite crucial in certain circumstances. Batteries to keep you charged up, maybe. Well, if you've, got a solar, <laughs> if you've got a solar panel on your house, but you watch television at night... Do a battery watch, could be do the you thing. Watch, do you watch television at night? More than in the day. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So ba- some little batteries. Have of you ever considered going to see Doc Martin to give you an examination? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, if mm. I can avoid Doc Martin. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure he, his advice is very good. I'm sure he'll give you a good talk. Anyway, to listen, Chris is about to go. We're not being very polite to our guests, John. Well. No. Y- Chris. I'm sure you will understand. Chris. I will. The other thing I noticed you'd been quite interested in at the Gadget Show, or one of the things, was um, a, a sort of remote hard drive that you could access from Oh, your yeah, that was cool. And I'm going to... So, so, so just I'm be... John, just be sure. Just be sure. You're, 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 you're trying to train as a journalist. So I'm going to buy look, it. We've got, we've, got, we've got here a guest. Yeah. Who is about to tell us the answer to the question? Right. So we sit patiently at this point right. and, and wait, wait for what he's going to say. Answer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So Chris. Yes, I thought it was very good. So how explain you, it a bit more. It was a hard drive. Yeah. That fitted onto your router with an Ethernet cable. Yeah. And then you could access it from anywhere because <coughs> you had an app downloaded onto your phone and you could use that app to play anything. So you could go for an 8 gig phone or a 4 gig phone. It wouldn't matter because. It would all be on the hard drive. So, in other words, you could have all your music. Yeah. And you could come into this studio and plug it in somehow. And, yeah. And um, that would be fine. Potentially, yes. Yeah, potentially. Don't know how it would work. Well, so, do, were you convinced that it worked or did it just seem a bit expensive? It just seemed a bit expensive, and but the technology behind it seemed good, so there might be other things available. Can I just stress, yeah. at this gadget show 2016, I'm, I might invest some money into that uh, oh. hard drive. So oh. we can go home and we can test it and then I can go on this lovely computer in this studio and then see if it works. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to write a strong letter to the, <laughs> to the manufacturers. 
and complain well, about it. Well, look, we could we could just ask the gadget show to test it or something similar. It wouldn't work, John. You'd have to have an app on your phone to. Yeah, you can also have them. An ex- you can also make an external link, HTTPS. Yeah. Okay. Uh, link that will yeah. come up as well. Or yeah. yeah. Windows or yeah. computer. Well, anyway, I think we've indicated the sort of thing we're, we're after. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chris, thank you very much. Thank you very okay, much for visiting. thank you. I know you've got to go, and we'll see you again on Thursday. Yeah, you will, 10 till 12 for the world show, but it will be 10.30-ish because um, you do the first half hour. I do, and depending on the buses, you may be here... Well, you might be here at ten past ten. Yeah. Or you may be here at ten to eleven. Who knows? It will be a surprise. So this is the detailed planning. Isn't that, that goes a into show from Silla Black? <laughs> surprise, surprise. I think there was a show called Surprise, Surprise. Yeah. There may be, there may be, there may be, there may be again. Sadly, Silla Black passed away. <laughs> she did. Yeah, it's very sad, isn't it? Yeah. Did you go to a funeral? I didn't attend a funeral, no. Not, <laughs> no. not in reality, but well, I did... I did well, um, I think from the news there were lots of people there, so our presence wasn't missed. Well, no. not in not in person, but I don't know, it's very it's difficult, isn't it, with all these people yeah. that we only know online or in the media? OK, well, I will say thank you for having me and please play me some Evanescence. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. We'll get, we'll, we haven't got them lined up, Chris, but we'll play them later on. Okay. I could line them up. You could? Well, yes. yeah, okay. but Will could line up easier on the computer, probably. Well, maybe. Okay, well, thank you for that and have a great rest of the show. Okay, Chris, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you, Will. And thank you, John. No worries. Okay, bye-bye.